All right, for this class today, we're going to take things and do a lot of twisting, so a lot of crosswise moving back and forth, a lot of lengthening side to side. So just have that in mind. Um, and to start this class, let's start the standing. So from wherever you are, bring yourself to the front of the mat. And to set this up, see your feet are within hips with distance. And bring the big toes in a little bit closer to each other. Now looking down, lift all ten toes up off the floor, spread them out nice and wide. Now with your toes still spread wide, bring your weight back toward your heels as much as you can. And then bring your weight forward toward the ball mounts of your feet with the toes curled up like this. And then center your weight somewhere in between. Set your toes down one by one. Now engage the rest of your stance. So tense up your thighs to pull the kneecaps up. Hold some tension in your glutes. And then keep tension in your core. So pull it through the belly, round the lower ribs to keep yourself upright. And keep your spine tall. Reach the crown of the head straight up. Bring your chin in just a little bit. Let your arms just hang. Relax the shoulders down. And then just close your eyes here. Now with the eyes closed, just take a moment to scan your position again. So see your weight is actually centered on your feet between the toes and heels. And again, hold on to that tension through the thighs, the glutes, the midsection to keep yourself upright. Be sure the shoulders are relaxed. And just start to deepen your breathing here. So with the inhales, pull in as much air as you can. Try to fill up your lungs and hold on to all that breath at the top. When you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down and the way back out. And be sure to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales as you breathe. Now when you're ready, hit take a deep inhale. And then when you exhale, just open your eyes. Now with the in next inhale, reach the arms up high. And then with the exhale, bring your hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach it straight up again. Exhale, hands through center. Inhale, arms up high. Now with the exhale this time, bring the hands through center down to your hips. I'm going to take this into the side of the body here to start. So with a crosswise step, put the weight to your left foot. Right foot back and across. Now bring the outside edges of your feet to touch. Now focus the weight on the right foot. Go ahead and bend into your left knee. With your next inhale, reach your right arm high. And then with the exhale, lean left and stretch this out long. Inhale, bring yourself back up the vertical. Reach up. Exhale, reach and lean to your left side. Inhale, reach straight up. Now with the exhale, lean left one more time. Hold here. Keep a deep bend in your left knee. Focus the weight on the right leg and just breathe. With your next inhale, just bring this up all the way. And then with the exhale, right hand to your hip. Bring the through center with your feet side by side and then step it back and across. Left foot goes boom and goes behind the right. <laughs> Outside edges of the feet to touch again. Now focus the weight on the left leg this time. Keep the deep bend on the right knee. When you're ready, with an inhale, reach your left arm high. And with the exhale, lean right gaze up high. Inhale, come back up the vertical. Exhale, lean this right, stretch this out long. Inhale, back up the vertical. Now with the exhale, lean right one more time and hold here. Focus the weight on the left foot. Keep the deep bend in your right knee. Keep stretching long. Keep breathing. With your next inhale, just come back up. And then with the exhale, both hands, your hips, step the feet together side by side. I'm going to take this to a variation of a curtsy squat, so I want you to focus the weight on the left foot. Now right foot back and across. Give yourself some space. Just come on to your toes. Now shoulders pulled back. Keep your chest open. Hinge from the hips. Focus the weight on the left foot. Put your belly down and touch your left thigh. And then bring yourself back up, right? Press on that left foot, step the right foot back next to the left. Weight to the right foot, left foot back and across. So give yourself some space. Keep the weight focused on the right foot. Shoulders pulled back, keep your chest open, hinge from the hips, bring your belly down to touch your right thigh. And then come all the way back up, right? And come back to center. Weight to the left foot, right foot back and across. Again, shoulders pulled back, be sure you got some space. Hinge from the hips, keep the shoulders pulled back, touch your belly to your left thigh. And bring the right knee down to the floor. 
and take it slow. Keep the weight focused on your left foot. Step forward, feet side by side. Now weights on the right foot, left foot back and across again. Step this back. Shoulders pulled back, hinge from the hips, touch the belly to the right back. And see if I bring that left knee all the way down. And focus the weight on the right foot, come back to center. Weights on the left foot again, right foot back and across. Shoulders pulled back, hinge from the hips, belly touches your left thigh and bring the right knee all the way down. Now once it's down, with an inhale, bring yourself upright, reach your right arm high. And with the exhale, lean left, gaze up high, and just stretch this out long for a moment. With your next inhale, come back upright. And then right hand to your hip, lean forward, focus weight on the left foot, step back into center. Take it on the other side, weights on the right foot. Left foot back and across, give yourself some space. Shoulders pulled back, hinge from the hips, touch the belly to the right thigh. Bring your left knee all the way down. Now bring your torso upright. With an inhale, reach your left arm high. And with the exhale, reach and lean over to the right. Hold for a moment. Now with your next inhale, reach both arms high. And then with the exhale, hands come down. Bring the right knee to the floor. Come into all fours. Now once you're in all fours, so give yourself a moment. Move around a little bit. And just feel things out and stretch things out a little bit. Maybe shake out your legs. And you can move however you like. And then just bring this into center, into all fours, and we'll take this into the wrist right away. So from all fours, keep your hips stacked over your knees. But then walk your hands to the right side. So right hand forward to the right knee, left hand forward to the right. Now let your whole upper body twist. And this might be good enough right here. So dig down to the fingertips. See about taking this further. With the palms facing down, rotate your right hand toward the right knee and then toward the center of the mat, maybe. Left hand rotates away from you and then toward center. Now grip the floor with your fingers and maybe just stay here and move a little bit side to side. Now keep gripping the floor and this should feel different from one hand to the next and obviously it's asymmetrical. If you want to take this a little bit further, maybe bend the elbows a little bit. Now keep gripping the floor with your fingers, keep the tension in your hands. You don't have to take a lot of weight forward as long as you feel a stretch, you're doing fine. And then go ahead and release that. Come up onto your fingertips. Walk your hands through center to the left side. Left hand fold to the left knee. Right hand fold to the left. Now with your palms down, see about taking it further here. Rotate that left hand. Fingertips toward the left knee and then toward center. Just take it as far as you can. Right hand rotates the fingers away from you and then maybe toward center. Now set your hands flat. Spread the fingers wide. Dig your fingertips down. And you can just move a little bit side to side. And this is good enough. If you want to take it further, go ahead and bend the elbows and bring more weight onto your hands. And then go ahead and release this. When you're ready, come up onto the fingertips, bring the hands into center. And then to keep the hands relatively close to your knees, so within about one or two hands lengths. But flip your hands over, backs of the hands down, palms facing up, fingertips point toward you. Now set your hands flat, spread the fingers out wide, press your fingertips down, straighten your arms as much as you can, and try to keep your spine lifted and your shoulder blades spread apart. Now if this is good enough, just stay with this. But take as much weight on your hands as you need to to feel a stretch, or maybe lean more weight back to your legs and you can go nice and light. But if you can take it further here, then start to rotate your hands. Keep the palms facing up, but rotate that right hand. Fingertips towards center, far as you can go. Rotate the left hand towards center as well. And then right hand out to the side, and left hand out to the side. And just go ahead and just keep on moving like this, back and forth one hand at a time. Now just feel this out. Keep your hands engaged. Your fingers spread wide, fingertips pressing down. And each time you reset your hand, try to flatten it out. Work to straighten your arm as best you can. And you can take a little weight, maybe take a lot, but just take this to where you need to right now. Just keep breathing. And then the next time you rotate your fingers out to the side, just hold that shape. And if you want to take it deeper, maybe slide the wrists in closer to each other and you don't have to force that, but just breathe with this. Try to keep your spine lifted around your spine as much as you can. Spread your shoulder blades apart. And then go ahead and release. Come up onto the fingertips, down to sitting on your heels. And just take a moment, shake your hands out, loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists. And once the hands are ready, bring your feet out from underneath you, and let's take this into boat. So bring yourself to a seat. Now, center your weight on your sit bones. Start to lean back. Now, as you lean back, bring the weight up off your feet. Now, you can keep the feet down low. Try to keep your torso upright, and try to keep the thighs pulled in close. 
Now, if you need to keep your feet low, that's fine. If you can take this further, see by bringing your shins toward parallel with the floor. And again, keep your core engaged. Try to stay as upright as you can. Now, if you need to, you can hold on to the thighs, or you can bring the hands into heart center if you want to take this further. If you can take it further here, just work it as a light twist. So the legs stay as they are. Just turn. Open your chest to the right far as you can. And then turn through center. Legs stay in place and open your chest to the left side. Back through center. Open your chest to the right again. And then bring it that back through center and turn to the left. And then just one more round. Turn over to the right side. And then bring it back through center to the left one more time. And then just turn back to center. And go ahead and release. Bring your feet to the floor. And come all the way down onto your back. Now once you're down, draw your knees into your chest. Squeeze everything in for a moment. And you can pull the knees out wide. Maybe rock a little bit side to side. But just breathe here. And then go ahead, release your grip and bring your feet down to the floor. Now I'm going to set this up and take a few different variations of bridge. So first will just be the standard variation here. So feet and knees about hips with distance apart. Bring the heels close enough to your seat that you can flatten your low back as much as possible while you're down. Arms at your sides, palms down, just keep your gaze up high. Now when you're ready here, with an inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. And then with your exhale, roll your spine back down. Inhale, bring your hips up high again. Exhale, roll this down. Inhale, lift your hips. And then with the exhale, lower. Now inhale, press up high and hold this here. Now keep your glutes squeezing, keep your hips lifting, keep breathing. And as you hold that tension, see about taking it further. Try to press into your heels, lift your toes up off the floor, and work to drag your heels toward your shoulders. Glutes are still squeezing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just roll back down. Now once you come down, bring the left foot towards center and cross the legs. So cross the right leg over the left, but just bring the right ankle past your left thigh. So keep the right leg open. There's some space underneath your bent right leg. And keep the legs pressing toward each other. So the knee's going to stay in line, and you're trying to point that right knee up toward the ceiling. Bring that left foot in close. Arms at your sides, palms down. And then with an inhale, press your hips up high. Exhale, roll your spine down. Inhale, lift this up again. And then exhale, lower. Now inhale, press your hips high and hold here. Now keep that right knee pointing up, keep the legs squeezing toward each other, and keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, roll this back down. Now take it the other way, right foot down, left leg crosses over the right, bring that left ankle past your right thigh. And again, keep it as an open cross, there's some space underneath your bent left leg. And keep the legs pressed toward each other. Bring the right foot in close, and when you're ready, with an inhale, press your hips up. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, lift your hips again. And then exhale, lower. Now inhale, press up high and hold here. Keep your glutes squeezing. Keep the legs squeezing toward each other. Keep breathing. And then slowly bring this down. Now once you're down, both feet to the floor. And this time we're going to lift and we're going to hold this and twist through the upper body. So feet and knees about hips with distance apart, just like we did before. Bring the heels in close. Arms at your sides, palms down. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, pressing your feet, lift your hips and stay lifted. Keep your glutes squeezing. Now as you hold the tension to lift, let's take this from the upper body here, lift your right hand. And then reach your right arm as far up past your head, over to the left, hold here. Keep your glutes squeezing. And then come back to center with the right arm down. Hips are still high, glutes still engaged. Lift your left hand. Reach your left hand past your head, up to the right, hold here, try to stack your shoulders. And then bring the left arm down. Now you're back at center, the glutes still squeezing, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, roll this all the way down. Now once you come back down, bring your knees to your chest, your hands to your knees, squeeze everything in. And as you're squeezing, lift your head, lift your shoulders, bring your nose close to your knees. Now, when you're ready for me, let's take this back in the boat. So, holding on to your legs, try to keep things lifted. Roll a little bit along the length of your spine. And then just bring yourself up to a seat. Work to keep your feet up off the floor. You can always pick them up if you need to. And then just keep the feet low like this this time. Now, just hover the feet above the floor. Try to stay upright through your torso. Keep your chest open. And then bring your hands into heart center. We'll twist from here. So, just slowly open your chest to the right as far as you can. 
and then turn, open your chest up to the left side. Keep your balance, turn, open your chest up to the right again. And then back to your center and turn to the left. One more round, turn and open up your chest to the right. And then through center to the left side one more time. And then just bring it back to center, you're still balanced. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, cross at the ankles, roll forward, your hands find all fours again. And from all fours, give yourself a moment here just to move around. Stretch your hands, stretch your fingers, let your shoulders and hips move side to side. And then just come into center. Now wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and we're going to warm this up a little bit further. So go ahead and press in your hands, tuck the toes of both feet, and then hover your knees up off the floor, be ready to move. And let's take it back and forth. Bring the right knee forward, just touch your left elbow, and step it back. Left knee to right elbow, and back. Right knee left. Step it back, left knee right, step it back, right knee left, and back, left knee right, step it back, bring your knees down for just a moment. And then we're gonna take it back up and we'll start with the same movement here with a light twist side to side and see about taking this further. And we'll just take it slow. So press in your hands, tuck the toes of both feet, hover your knees. Now from here, bring the right knee forward to the left elbow hold. Drop your left heel, lift your left hand. Keep everything close as you turn toward the left side. And then come back to center, back to all fours. Bring it the other way, left knee to right elbow, hold here. Drop the right heel, lift the right hand, open to your right side. And then turn back to center. And then again, just take it back and forth from one side to the next. Now you don't have to move this too fast at all. You're just bringing the knee to the opposite elbow and then taking a deeper turn. And just take it back and forth at your own pace. You can keep it slow, you can speed it up and hop back and forth if you want to take it to that point, but just work it as best you can, you're going to feel it out of the way. And then just give this a couple more rounds and try to finish this opening up to the right side before you come back to center. And from center, go ahead, set your knees down, come back to all fours and take a couple breaths. Now, when you're ready here, we're gonna take a little bit deeper twist. So when you're ready, tuck the toes, toes of both feet, hover your knees, bring your hips up a little bit higher. Now bring the right knee forward toward your left elbow and then step the right foot past the left edge of your mat. So your legs stay crossed, square your chest toward the floor, press into the right hand, and then inhale your left arm high. With the exhale, bring the left elbow down and press it into your right thigh. Now set the left hand down to braces, bring the right hand down in line with the left, and then you can set the left knee down or maybe lift the left knee. But look forward, pull your chest forward a little bit, bend the elbows in toward you. This is good enough right here. And if you want to take it further, maybe just lift the right foot for a moment. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and release this. Come back to all fours. Now from all fours, let's take that twist on the other side. So press your hands, shoulders or wrists, tuck the toes of both feet, hover your knees. Now bring the left knee forward to the right elbow. Step the left foot past the right edge of the mat. Bring your hips up high. Now press into your left hand, lift the right, take an inhale as you reach. And then with the exhale, bring the right elbow down outside your left thigh. Set the right hand down to brace this, set the left hand down in line with the right. And maybe just set the right knee down and breathe here. Keep your chest facing down, keep your shoulders squared. Maybe lean a little bit further forward, you can bend the elbows. And if you want to take it further, just see if you can lift that left foot for a moment. And then release and come back to center, back to all fours. Now, once you find all fours, take a moment here, just move around. And then when you're ready, let's take this into downward facing dog. So go ahead, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lift your hips. And just move around for a moment, feel this out. Now, as you set up your position or settle into it here, see your hands are about shoulder width distance apart, flatten your palms. And you want to feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs, keep in mind. Let your chest sink low, but keep your hips up high. Now press your hips up as high as you can toward the ceiling, and as you reach up for your hips, let that lengthen and straighten out your upper body. One line from the wrist creases through the hips. Keep your core tense, pulling through the belly around the low ribs. Now if your legs are tight, if your hamstrings are tight, go ahead, bend your knees. And you can always just stay loose, keep moving, pedal the side, side to side. When you're ready here, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bend the knees, look forward, and step this to the front of the mat. Let's take a ragdoll fold. So feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees. Let your belly touch your thighs. Let your head hang, let your spine round, and let everything go long and loose. Let the muscles in your neck relax. 
Now you can hang your hands all the way down. You can reach the opposite elbows if you like. And maybe shake the side to side to loosen further. And then from wherever you are, just release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent to begin, but restack your spine. So just slowly roll this up to standing. Bring your head up last. And then just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands down to heart center. So take a moment here to breathe, set an intention. Let your mind clear, find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your hands. Now with your next inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. So hinge at the hips, start with a straight spine, put a little bend in your knees. Keep your core engaged, move smoothly, and then just release this at the bottom. Now with an inhale, lift up halfway, fingertips to the floor or to your shins, lengthen forward to the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, bring your hands to the mat and step this back to high plank. Now find your shape here. Wrist into the shoulders, palms press to the floor, press the floor away from you, press your spine up toward the ceiling and keep your spine lifted. And keep your core tense. Use your belly, use the tension in your belly to hold your hips in front of the shoulders and heels as best you can. Now when you're ready here, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, set your knees down. Now shoulders forward, elbows back, bring your chin and chest down low. With your next inhale, straighten your arms, pull your chest forward, upward dog, come to the tops of your feet, squeeze your glutes, and then pull your belly in, bring your hips up high, and come back to down dog. And we'll go through that variation of a sun salutation a few times. So from your down dog, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and step to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Now inhale to standing, reach your arms up high. Exhale, fold this all the way down. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, hands to the mat, step your feet back, come into high plank. Take an inhale here. Now with the exhale, bring your knees down. Shoulders forward, elbows back, bring your chin and chest down low. With an inhale, straighten your arms, pull your chest forward, up dog. And then with the exhale, pull your belly in, bring your hips up high to down dog. Two more times like that, take an inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and step to the front. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold back down. Now inhale to standing, reach the arms high. Exhale, fold, and come down slow. Inhale, lift halfway here. And with the exhale, hands to the mat, step it back to high plank. Take an inhale. With the exhale, set your knees down. Shoulders forward, elbows back, bring your chin and chest down low. With an inhale, pull your chest forward, straighten your arms. Exhale, draw your belly in, hips up high, back to down dog. One more time, from your down dog, take an inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and step to the front. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to standing, reach your arms high. Exhale, fold it back down again. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands to the floor, step it back to high plank. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, set your knees down. Shoulders forward, elbows back, bring your chin and chest down low. With the next inhale, pull your chest forward, straighten your arms. Exhale, draw your belly in, hips up high, back to down dog. Let's pedal out here for a moment and breathe. Now from your downward facing dog, inhale your right leg up high. And with your right leg lifted, twist this. So come into a scorpion dog. Bend the right knee, hang the right foot left, and let your right hip lift. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, set the right foot down. Inhale, your left leg high. Now bend the left knee, hang the left foot right. Find the twist here, scorpion dog. Inhale, straighten your left leg. And with the exhale, set the left foot down. From your down dog, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and step to the front. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to standing, reach the arms high. Exhale, sink in the chair this time. Put the weight to your heels, bend your knees, and bring your hips down low. 
Now as you settle in, see your feet are within hips with distance, big toes and knees towards center, belly pulled in. Let's bind this low, right arm behind your low back, palm face way, bring it to your left side. Left hand meets the right. Now palms together, fingers interlaced, keep your shoulders pulled back, sink your hips down lower. And then just feel this out here, put the weight to the right foot. And then lift your left heel. Now you're still in chair, left foot forward, dip the big toe down. Now bring that left foot back and across, big toe past the right edge. Keep the right knee bent, bring that left big toe forward again. And then bring that left foot back and across. One more time, bring the left big toe forward. Now one more time, back and across. Now give yourself some space, slide that left foot further back, stay on your toes. Hinge from the hips, keep your shoulders pulled back, bring your belly to touch the right thigh, and bring your left knee all the way down. Now once you're down, with an inhale, bring your torso upright, reach your left arm high. And then with the exhale, lean right, gaze up high, hold here. Now with your next inhale, reach the arms up high. And then with the exhale, both hands down around the right foot. Step your left foot straight back, come into low lunge. You want to take this to Anjaneyasana. So left knee down, left foot flat behind, sink your hips down, press them forward. When you're ready, with an inhale, open this up and reach your arms high. Now as you're reaching, let the hips sink down low toward the front. Bring your gaze up high, keep breathing. And we'll take this with a little bit of a side bend. So make your left hand to a fist with your right hand. Take hold of the left wrist. Look down to the right. But pull that left arm across. Let your hips sink down lower. And just breathe with this. Now with your next inhale, look forward. Release that grip. And then with the exhale, bring both hands down. Now put the weight to the right foot. Tuck the toes to the left. Lift your left knee. And then bring the left foot forward one pace behind the right. We're going to take a pyramid stance. Hands to your hips with an inhale. Bring your torso all the way upright. Now give yourself a moment to set this up. Feet on still on two separate tracks. Hips with distance side to side. Left foot points to the side about 45 degrees or so. Both legs straight. Pull the right hip back and the left hip forward. And then bring your hands to your low back. Now interlace the fingers. Pull the palms together. Draw your shoulders back and open up your chest. Keep your legs straight. We're just going to fold this toward halfway down. So take an inhale here. Now with the exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest, come down toward halfway. Inhale, bring this all the way up. Exhale, hinge forward again, just toward halfway down. Inhale, come up all the way. Exhale, hinge forward again. Now inhale, bring this all the way up. And with the exhale, hinge forward as far as you can hold. Now keep your shoulders pulled back, keep your core engaged. You're trying to find the arch in your low back and hold it. Right hip back, left hip forward, keep breathing. You can bend the right knee if you need to. But if you can take this a little bit further, maybe lift your left heel up off the floor just a little bit. Focus the weight on the right leg. Now slowly from here, put the left heel down if it's lifted, bend into the right knee. And then bring yourself up to standing with your left knee high. Now just find your balance here. Grip the floor with the right big toe. Move your legs into an eagle bind. Cross the left leg over the right. Now squeeze your legs together as they cross, sink your hips down, keep your shoulders pulled back, and keep breathing. And this is good enough right here. Now you can always touch that left foot to the floor. If you can take it further, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest, maybe come down a little bit, maybe lift your knuckles up toward the ceiling, and stretch the shoulders, but just breathe. All right, when you're ready, press into the right foot with an inhale. Come to standing with your left knee high. And then with the exhale, set your left foot down. Now put the weight to the left foot. Come to standing with your right knee high. Find your balance here. Now once you're ready, bring your hands to your hips. Right knee still lifted. And we're going to take this as a standing twist. So left hand to the outside of the right knee. Pull the right shoulder back. Open your chest to the right. Just stay tall as you're twisting. And this is good enough right here. If you want to take it further, you can reach that right arm back. If you want to go further, you can reach that left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. But just take it the way you can here. Now we're still balancing, take an inhale. And with the exhale, slowly turn back to center, right knee lifted, hands to your hips. And then go ahead and set that right foot down. When you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, fold this all the way down. Now inhale, lift up halfway. 
And then with the exhale, set the hands, and we're going into the setup for crow. So at least take the setup whether you're gonna lift the feet or not. So press down your hands, dig your fingertips into the floor, and then come up onto your toes, lift your heels. Bring the knees to touch your upper arms, belly pulled in, hips high. Now, shoulders forward, bend the elbows in toward you, still look forward, and then see about leaning to the edge of balancing. This is good enough. Now, if you want to stay here, this is fine. If you want to just play with your balance, maybe lift the right foot and you can set it down. Maybe lift your left foot and set it down. Maybe just stay here and grip the floor. You can try to lift both feet if you like. But whenever you're ready, go ahead, step it back to plank and move the vinyasa. So for the vinyasa, you come into plank and then knees down, shoulders forward, elbows back, chin and chest come down low. With the inhale, pull your chest forward, straighten your arms up, dog. With the exhale, draw your belly in, hips are patted down, dog. And from your down, dog, just pedal out and breathe. Now to take that on the other side, with your next inhale, raise your left leg high. With the left leg lifted, bend the left knee, move into your scorpion, dog, hang the left foot right. Inhale, straighten your left leg through like a dog. And exhale, bring the left foot down. With your next inhale, raise the right leg high. Bend the right leg, hang the right foot over the left, open up your hips. Inhale, straighten the right leg through like a dog. Exhale, set the right foot down. From your down dog, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, and step this to the front. Now inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to standing, reach your arms high. And with the exhale, sink into chair again. Put the weight to your heels, bend your knees, and bring your hips down low. Again, feet within hips with distance, knees and big toes towards center, belly pulled in, bind it low, bring the left arm behind your low back, palm face way over to the right side, right hand meets the left. Palms together, fingers interlace, shoulders pulled back, maybe sink this down lower. Now, work your balance here, focus the weight on the left foot, lift the right heel, you're still in chair. Now lift that right foot, step it forward, touch the big toe down, and then lift it, step it back and across, big toe to the floor, past your left edge. Lift the right foot, bring the big toe forward. Lift it, bring it back and across again. Lift it, bring the big toe forward. Now lift it, bring it back and across, give yourself some space. Shoulders pulled back, hinge from the hips, touch your belly to your left thigh this time. And then bring your right knee all the way down. Once you're down, with an inhale, lift your torso, reach your right arm high. And then with the exhale, lean this left, gaze up high, pull that left shoulder back. With your next inhale, reach both arms high. And then with the exhale, hands down. Step the right foot straight back, come into low lunge. And let's take this down to Anjaneyasana. Right knee down, right foot flat behind, sink your hips down, press them forward. When you're ready with an inhale, open this up and reach your arms high. Now let the hips sink low, gaze up high. Take this with a little bit of side bend here. Right hand becomes a fist. Left hand takes hold of the right wrist. Now look down to the left, pull the right arm across to your left side, but keep that right hip low, pulling forward and just breathe. Now with your next inhale, look forward, release that grip, reach straight up. And then with the exhale, bring both hands down. Now tuck the toes, the right foot, lift the right knee. Bring the right foot forward one pace behind the left. So again, about three feet front to back. Hands to your hips. With an inhale, bring yourself all the way upright. Now once you're up, left hip back, right hip forward. Bring your hands to the low back, find the grip that feels strange, draw your shoulders back, and keep your chest open. And I should mention right foot points to the side about 45 degrees or so. Now again, keep your legs straight. We're just moving from the upper body toward halfway down. So take an inhale. With the exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest, come down toward halfway. Inhale, bring this all the way up. Exhale, hinge forward, just toward halfway down. Inhale, bring this all the way up. Exhale, hinge forward, just toward halfway. Now inhale, bring it up one more time. And then with the exhale, hinge forward toward halfway, hold here. Now you don't have to take it too deep, you can be higher, just try to keep the arch in your low back, shoulders pulled back, chest open, left hip back, right hip forward. And if you want to go deeper, maybe lift that right heel a little bit. All right, when you're ready from here, just take things slow. Put it bend the left knee and bring the weight forward to your left foot. Come up to standing with your right knee high. And then take an eagle behind with your right legs. Right leg crosses tightly over the left. Now squeeze your legs together, sink down. You can always touch that right foot to the floor. Shoulders pulled back. This is good enough here. 
And if you want to take it deeper, keep the legs squeezing, maybe hinge from the hips, and see about touching your belly to your right thigh. You can lift the knuckles toward the ceiling, but take it to where you can. Keep breathing. Slowly, let's go ahead and bring this upright. Hands, your hips, right knee lifted. And then switch this out, set the right foot down. Lift your left knee high and just find your balance here, dig into that right big toe. Now once you're stable, go slow, right hand to the outside of the left knee. Pull the left shoulder back, now stay tall, let your chest open left side, this is good enough here. And if you wanna go further, maybe reach that left arm straight back. If you want to go further still, be sure you can stay balanced, but you can run that right foot hand to the outside edge of your left foot. But just stay twisted and stay breathing. All right, still balancing slowly. Turn to center, hands to your hips. Set that left foot down. When you're ready with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then exhale, fold this all the way down. Inhale, lift up halfway. And with the exhale, set the hands and let's come into that crow setup again. So the hands are shoulder width, press into your palms, grip the floor with your fingers. Come up onto your toes and lift your heels, touch your knees to your arms. Now keep your hips high, your belly pulled in, just start to look forward, start to lean, keep gripping the floor with your fingers. This is good enough. And maybe just stay at the edge of balancing. Now if you can play with this a little bit, see about lifting your left foot and then set it down. See about lifting the right foot, set it down. Maybe lean further, maybe lift both feet. But whenever you're ready, take it to your vinyasa, step it back to plank. And then from plank, take an inhale. Exhale, set your knees down, shoulders forward, elbows back, bring your chin and chest down low. With the inhale, pull your chest forward, straight arms, upward dog. Exhale, pull your belly in, hips up, high to down dog. And just pedal out here for a moment. All right, now from your down dog, inhale the right leg high behind you. Bend the right knee, hang the right foot left scorpion dog. Inhale, straighten the right leg back to that three-legged dog. And then exhale to scorpion, bend the right knee and hang the right foot left. Inhale, straighten the right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale one more time, bend the right knee, move into that twist, scorpion dog. With your next inhale, straighten the right leg. And then with the exhale, set the right foot down next to left. From your down dog, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, and step to the front. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to standing, reach the arms high. Exhale, sink into chair. Put the weight to your heels, bend your knees, and bring your hips down low. Now this time, stay in chair and bring both hands to your low back. Palms facing away, fingers spread wide, shoulders pulled back, chest open. Maybe sink down lower. And this is good enough right here, but to take it further. Focus the weight on the right foot and lift your left heel. Now lift the left foot, step it forward, touch the big toe down. Now bring that left foot back and across, big toe goes over to the right. Again, bring that left big toe forward, dip it down. And then bring that left foot back and across. One more time, bring the big toe forward. Now one more time, back and across. Now give yourself some space as that left foot goes right. Now shoulders pulled back, hinge from the hips, bring your belly to touch your right thigh. And then bring your left knee all the way down. Now once you're up with an inhale, lift your torso, reach up through your left arm, and with the exhale, bring the left arm past the right thigh and move into a twist. Pull the right shoulder back and look up toward the ceiling. Breathe here. Now with your next inhale, reach both arms up high. And then with the exhale, hands come down around the right foot, step your left foot straight back, low lunge. And we'll take this to warrior two. So with an inhale, drop your left heel. Lift your torso, windmill the arms, open up to your left side. And give yourself a moment to settle in. Now deep into the right, your straight left leg. One line from the front heel to the back arch. And you can always slide that right foot further out. Now keep your torso upright. Reach us equally front to back. Let's take it with a half bind. Left arm behind your back. Palm face away. Pull that shoulder back. Open up your right palm toward the ceiling. Keep your hips low. Now back and forth. With an inhale, reach back. Lean back. Gaze up high. And then with the exhale, bring it forward. Keep looking up. Inhale, reverse this. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Now inhale, reverse it one more time. Hold here. Keep that left shoulder pulled back. Right arm reaching up and to the left. Keep that deep bend into the right knee. Keep your hips low. Keep breathing. Now 
Now keep the left arm bound, take an inhale. And with the exhale, just bring yourself upright, right hand to the right hip, and then turn the heels and toes out. We're going to take a horse stance from here. So just a wide-legged squat. So bend into the knees, bring your thighs toward parallel with the floor, and just keep that left shoulder pulled back. And we're going to take this into some balancing here. So I want you to put the weight to the right foot, lean right, lift your left heel. Now bring this into a figure four, lift that left foot, cross the left ankle over the right, and then step this out wide and sink back into horse. Again, weight to the right foot, lift the left, cross the ankle over the thigh, and then release, step your left foot out wide and sink this back down. Two more times, bring this to the right foot, lift your left leg, cross the left leg over the right, sink into this. Step your left foot out wide and sink back down. One more time, bring the weight to the right foot, lift your left leg, move into that figure four, we'll hold it this time. So left ankle past the right thigh, curl the toes of the left foot, keep the knee to the side. And then to see about sinking down a little bit further. Keep breathing. All right, slowly from here, release it. Step that left foot wide. You're back in horse. And this time, put the weight to the left foot. Bring yourself to standing on that left foot with the right knee high. Dig into the left big toe. And then once you're stable with your right hand, take hold of the right knee and pull it out to the side. Now this is good enough right here. Now keep the left shoulder pulled back. You can let go of the bind anytime. If you want to go further, you can reach that right hand inside the right leg, maybe find the big toe, and maybe just use that grip to pull the knee up higher, maybe extend the leg further to the side, but take this to where you can. All right, from here, take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring your hands in front of you. Step the right foot toward the front. Hands come down inside the left foot. I'm going to set this up for skandasana. So lift your left heel, come to sitting on that left heel. Right leg extends toward the front of that point, the toes up toward the ceiling. Now we're setting this up so we can switch side to side. So bring your hands toward the center of the mat, stay low, try to keep your chest facing down, and work to keep your hips low, and that's probably the most challenging part. But when you're ready, go ahead and switch this out. Bend to the right knee, come to sitting on the right heel, left leg extends. And then bring it back through center, sink down to the left side. Through center, come down over to the right again. Back through center, come down to the left. Bring it back through center, over to the right. And then back through center, we're going to settle in on the left side, so hold here. Now this is good enough, and maybe just stay folded. You can bring your forearms down, you can set the left foot flat if you're more flexible than me, but keep that right leg extended toward the front. If you can take this further, see about bringing yourself toward upright, sit in that left heel, and with the right leg extended. Now, if you want to take it further yet, maybe take a half bind, left arm behind your back, palm face, maybe draw that shoulder back, and just look toward the front of that, pull, press into both feet, and try to draw that right shoulder, left shoulder back, rather. Keep your chest open and keep breathing. Take an inhale. Now, with the exhale, just bring both hands down. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, and bring yourself into a forward fold as so the left foot comes forward as well. From that fold, take an inhale, lift this up halfway. And then with the exhale, set your hands down. Let's take it to that crow setup again. So the hands and shoulder width, grip the floor with your fingers, lift your heels. Bring the knees to touch your arms. Now look forward, lean forward, keep your hips high, and maybe just come to the edge of balancing. If you want to play with your balance, see about lifting the right foot. And then set it down, see about lifting the left. Set it down. Now maybe lean further forward, maybe lift both feet. And then when you're ready, take it through another vinyasa. So for the vinyasa, bring yourself to plank, and then knees down. Shoulders forward, elbows back, bring your chin and chest down low. With an inhale, pull forward, straighten your arms up, dog. And then with the exhale, belly pulls in, hips go high, back to down, dog. Now from your down, dog, we'll take all that on the other side to even things out. So when you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. Now left leg lifted, bend your left knee, hang the left foot right, come into your scorpion dog. Inhale, straighten the left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, twist again, bend the left knee, hang the left foot right. Inhale, straighten your left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the left knee, open to your scorpion dog one more time. Inhale, straighten your left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the left foot down next to the right. Now take an inhale here. With the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, and step to the front. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to stand and reach this up high. And with the exhale, sink down into the chair again. Put the weight to heels, bend your knees, and bring your hips low.
Now, once you come down, hands to your low back, palms facing away, fingers spread wide, shoulders pulled back, elbows wide, keep your chest open. And then focus the weight on the left foot and lift your right heel. Now, lift your right foot, dip the big toe down in front of you. Lift that foot, bring it back and across behind. Lift the right foot, big toe comes down in front. Lift the foot, bring it back and across to the left again. Now lift the foot, dip the big toe down in front of you one more time. And then bring that foot back and across to the left side. Give yourself some room. Now stay on the toes, pull your shoulders back. Hinge from the hips, touch your belly to the left side. And then bring that right knee all the way down. Now with an inhale, bring your torso up, right, reach up through the right arm. And with the exhale, twist. Bring that right arm past your left thigh. Draw the left shoulder back, look up toward the ceiling and breathe into this here. With your next inhale, turn to center, reach both arms high. And then with the exhale, hands down, step the right foot straight back, come into low lunge. Low lunge to your warrior two. With an inhale, drop the right heel, lift your torso, wind with the arms, open up to the right side. Deep in the left knee, straight right leg. Now again, one line from the front heel to the back arch, you can always slide that left foot further forward. But take your half bind, right arm behind your back, palm face me, pull the shoulder back, keep that left arm reaching forward and open that palm toward the ceiling. Keep your hips low. Back and forth, inhale, reverse, reach back, lean back, gaze up high. Exhale, extend this forward, keep looking up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Now inhale, reverse one more time, hold here. Keep that right shoulder pulling back, keep looking up, keep your hips low. And then take an inhale. And with the exhale, keep the right arm bound, but bring the left hand to the left hip. Now turn your heels towards center, toes out. Find that horse stance from here. So again, it's just a wide-legged squat, trying to get the hips toward the level of the knees. And we'll work this into balancing. So from center, keep your shoulders pulled back. Put the weight to the left foot, lean left, lift your right heel. And then right leg crosses over left. Bring the ankle over the left thigh. Step your right foot wide. Sink down low, come back to horse. Weight to the left foot, lean left. Right leg crosses over the left again, sink down. And then go ahead, step that right foot out wide. One more time, bring the weight to the left foot. Right leg crosses over the left, sink down, hold here. And just breathe into this. Keep the right shoulder pulled back. Now slowly release that. Step your right foot out wide, come back into horse. And we'll take it to the other side. So when you're ready, put the weight to the right foot, lean right. Lift your left heel and then come to standing with your left knee high. Once you got your balance, with your left hand, take hold of the left knee, pull it out to the side, keep that hip open. Good enough right here, stay balanced. If you wanna go further, you can reach inside the left leg, find the left big toe, maybe just pull the knee higher, maybe extend the leg a bit, but keep the right shoulder pulled back. Now from wherever you are, slowly release your grip, left knee still to the side. Step the left foot toward the front of the mat, both hands come down inside the right foot, and we take it down to Skandasana. So lift the right heel, come to sit in the right heel. Left leg extends toward the front with the toes pointed up. And again, we're setting this up so we can switch back and forth. So bring your hands into center. Keep your chest facing down. Try to keep your hips low. Now switch it out. Bring it through center. Come to sit in the left heel. Right leg extends. Bring it back through center over to your right side. Through center, sink down over the left. Back through center, come down to the right. Through center to the left side one more time. Back through center, over to the right, and hold here. And you can stay folded. There's a lot of variations of the shape that you can take. But if you can take it further, just keep that right knee out to the side. Keep the toes left foot pointed up. Maybe walk your hands in. And then see about bringing that right arm behind your back for a half bind again. Draw the shoulder back. Try to look toward the front and just breathe. Press into both feet. And take an inhale. And then with the exhale, release both hands down. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, and then step the right foot forward next to the left forward fold. Now from here, take an inhale, lift up halfway, and then with the exhale, set the hands, and we'll come into that crow setup one more time. So the hands are shoulder width, grip the floor with your fingers, lift your heels, bring the knees to touch your arms, belly pulled in, hips up high, look forward, lean forward, go slow. And then as you're leaning into this, maybe just hold. If you want to take it further, play around. See, by lifting your left foot, you can set it down. Maybe lift your right foot and set it down. Now maybe lean a little bit further, maybe lift both feet. But when you're ready, take it to your vinyasa. Go ahead, step back to high plank. 
and then go ahead, bring your knees down. Shoulders forward, elbows back, bring your chin and chest down low. With an inhale, pull your chest forward, straighten your arms, upward facing dog. Exhale, draw your belly and hips up high, back to down dog. Now from down dog, let's take this into half pigeon. With an inhale, raise the right leg high behind you. And with the exhale, bring it forward, right knee behind the right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Now go ahead, flatten your left foot, straighten your left leg, pull the left hip forward, keep it in line with the right. Sink your weight straight down. And look for at least some of that stretch on the right side. Now you can keep this upright, this is good enough. You can always go deeper if you want to back bend. Most people want to chill out. So if you want to relax a little bit or to settle in, you can come down to the elbows, maybe melt down all the way. And just take this to where you need to and just breathe. From half pigeon, we're going to take this to another pose. If your hands are forward, walk them in and bring them close to the right leg. Once they're close enough, lower to the right hip, swing your left leg forward. And we're going to take this into Jhana Shashasana. So the left leg is extended and the right knee is bent. Bring the sole of the right foot to the inner left thigh, high as you're comfortable with. Let's take a moment to sit this upright. Now turn toward your left leg, reach the arms up high, take an inhale. And with the exhale, just hinge toward the left foot halfway down, hands on either side of the leg. Now, press your low back forward, touch your belly to your left thigh, or if your hamstrings are tight, you're going to have to bend your left knee and bring the thigh up to your belly, but find some contact between the belly and thigh. Now, once you can feel that, find your grip. You can hold the shin, the ankle, the foot, whatever works best. Use that grip to pull your torso forward, press your low back forward. You're trying to use your core and the tension of your core to press the torso into the left thigh, tip your pelvis forward, and let the back of the left leg relax. Now, that's a lot if your hamstrings are tight, so just take it slow. But if you start with a bent left knee, maybe press the heel forward, but only so far as you can still touch your belly to your thigh. So keep your core tense and just breathe. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, just release your grip. Now bring yourself upright and keep the legs as they are. And we're gonna take a side bend variation. So turn, open your chest toward the right knee. Reach your arms out wide in line with your left leg. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, left forearm comes down inside your left leg. You can bend your left knee, but sweep the right arm across and reach for your left big toe. Right shoulder above the left, bring your gaze up high, stretch this out long all through the right side. And if you wanna deepen this, press the left arm in the left leg and try to rotate your chest open toward the ceiling as you're reaching. Now take an inhale here. And then with the exhale, just release, bring yourself back upright. When you're ready, just cross at the ankles, roll forward your hands, step back to down dog. And we'll take those poses on the other side. So once you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. With the exhale, bring it forward. Left knee behind your left wrist, left ankle somewhere behind the right. Flatten your right foot, straighten the right leg. Pull the right hip forward and keep it in line with the left. Sink your weight straight down. And look for at least some of the stretch on the left side. Now you can stay upright. You can take it toward a deeper back bend if you want to keep your spine extended. And if you want to just settle in, you come down to the elbows, maybe melt down all the way. But just take it to where you need to here and breathe. And let that stretch move at least a little bit out of left hip toward your glutes.
All right, let's inhale again with your hands are forward. Walk them back in. Now let's take the next pose. Lower yourself down the left hip when you're ready. Swing the right leg forward. And let's take Janu Shashasana on this side. So the right leg's extended, the left knee's bent. Sew the left foot to the inner right thigh. And just sit this upright, turn toward the right leg. With an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, fold this halfway down, hands out the side of that leg. Now press your low back forward, touch your belly to your right thigh, or bend the knee and bring the thigh up to your belly, but find the contact one way or the other. Now once you're ready, take hold of the right leg. You can hold the shin, the ankle, the foot, whatever works best. Use that grip, pull your torso further forward. So press your low back forward so your belly's touching your thigh. You're trying to keep your pelvis tilted forward here. Now go ahead and feel that stretch on the back of the right leg. If you start with a bent right knee, maybe press the heel forward, but only so far as your belly still touches your thigh. Keep your core tense, keep your belly pressing forward, keep your chest pulling forward, keep breathing. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, just release your grip. Bring yourself upright, but keep the legs as they are. And let's take the side bend. So turn, open your chest toward the left knee. Reach your arms out wide in line with the right leg. And we'll take the side bend here. So take an inhale. With the exhale, bring that right forearm down inside the right leg. Bend the right knee if you need to. Sweep the left arm across and reach for the right big toe. Now if you touch it, that's great. If you don't, you're still reaching. Look up, stack the left shoulder above the right. But to deepen this, press the right arm into the right leg. Try to rotate your chest toward the ceiling as you stretch that left arm long and keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bring yourself back upright. Now from here, go ahead and just loosen up. Bring yourself down onto your back. And once you're down, draw your knees into your chest, squeeze everything in. And let's take this into happy baby. Go ahead, reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet and stack your ankles above your knees. Now pull down on both sides. Draw the knees to the floor outside your ribs, but press your feet back up into your hands at the same time. Now keep the tension working both up and down. So press up in your hands as you're pulling down. Flatten your spine, sink your tailbone toward the floor. If you want to take it further, you can rock a little bit side to side. Further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally, here, take a deep inhale, draw it down as much as you can. And then with the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms down at your sides. Open your palms up toward the ceiling. And just let your eyes close here and let your body settle down into the mat for a moment. And then just let yourself move again when you're ready, bit by bit, fingers and toes, arms and legs. When you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And then draw things back in, bring your elbows toward your chest, pull your knees up as well. And just take your time here, find your way up. 
to a comfortable seat. Now just ground yourself into the mat, stack your spine, bring your hands up to heart center. Take a deep inhale here, hold on to it at the top. And then just let everything go. I thank you for joining class. Namaste.